organic matter may be widespread on Mars. New discoveries of the Perseverance rover NASA's Perseverance rover has found organic compounds in the Jezero crater on Mars. This finding suggests that organic matter may be widespread throughout the Red Planet. Research has revealed evidence of hydrocarbons in many rock formations. What's more, the detected compounds occur in many places, in different amounts and types. This is not the first time that organic compounds have been detected on the Red Planet. The Curiosity rover in Gale Crater also found them earlier. However, the compounds found by the Perseverance rover are more diverse than those previously found in Gale Crater by Curiosity. Spectroscopic analysis of the rocks was performed using instruments on board the Perseverance rover. The samples were collected from two different Martian formations in the Jezero crater, known as Moraz and Seta. We detected signals of organic compounds in many rocks at the bottom of the Jezero crater, says Caltech astrobiologist Sunanda Sharma, who led the study. We observed different types of signals. It seems that the diversity is greater in the Moras formation compared to the set of formation. This was surprising and interesting. Because such differences can mean that they had different geological histories, he adds. The research results were published in Nature. One of the main goals of Perseverance is to search for traces of life on Mars and to check the possibility of settling the Red Planet in the future. Carbon-based organic compounds may not be the remnants of ancient, extinct species. There are many non-biological processes by which they can arise. Carbon is essential to life. At least as we know it. So if we want to assess the habitability of a planet, carbon-containing molecules are one of the key things to look for. The ability of rocks to retain these compounds is also important. It may suggest that life may have emerged there at some point in Mars history. Using the SHERLOC instrument aboard Perseverance, Sharma and her colleagues used Raman and fluorescent spectroscopy. 
They discovered differences in the chemical composition of the rock formations. The comparisons between formations intrigue me the most, says Sharma. Moraz and Seta differ in the number and type of organic compounds. I'm curious what could have caused such differences. Scientists do not know exactly what molecules make up the rocks, but both formations show signs of changes that have occurred in contact with water. This means that water may have played a role in the formation of these compounds. Another key prerequisite for the origin of life. Researchers are waiting for more data from the rover. They want to compare different types of rock formations that are found in other locations. This could help scientists understand the geological history of Mars. The team hopes that the prevalence of organic materials means that they will be present in the samples that Perseverance is collecting and that are set to return to Earth. If that happens, one day we will be able to study them directly using the latest technology.